Let's dive right in. This is an accelerated and somewhat updated version of the original Make Any Molecule tutorial. If you find this a little fast paced, I've linked the longer version in the description. And as usual, there are timestamps below. So let's go ahead and get started. To start, we're going to need three things. The latest version of Blender, Open Battle, which you can download for free, and access to the internet for the website moleview.org. Now, this is a very convenient little website. If we go ahead and we refresh the page, you can see that it'll bring up some molecule. In this case, I had one loaded, but you can very simply hit the trash can and then you can draw any molecule. So if you're familiar with ChemDraw, this is a very similar interface. Go ahead and we could drag a chain out here, something like that. If we wanted to, we could add different hetero atoms. So let's go ahead and stick chlorine right there and maybe here as well. But we can also hit the bin and then we can look up any specific molecule we want. So in this case, I have a phenanthrolene, but let's go ahead and grab anthracene. You can see that the website will actually give minerals and it will tell you the type of molecule. So we're going to grab this one right here, anthracene 1,4-dione. Now, very simply, I'm going to hit 2D to 3D just to make sure that I get the conversion. And then from here, I will go ahead and come to tools, download the mole file, which will download automatically. And from here, we can go to open battle. So I'm going to open open battle. We'll grab the button here and we'll just choose our molecule. So there it is. Then I'm going to choose an output domain and I want to make sure this is saving as a PDB or protein database format file. We'll just call this tutorial molecule. Now from here, we're just going to hit convert. And if you see any numbers in here that are kind of unusual, such as NAN or not a number or a huge string of numbers, then you might want to delete the hydrogens and then convert it again. But in this case, this looks like it's worked pretty well, so we can actually go ahead and get started in Blender. Starting off from a new scene in Blender, we're very simply going to delete the default queue. We're going to come to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and we're going to make sure that we have Atomic Blender enabled. Once that's done, exit out of here, come to File, Import. We're going to come down to PDB, and we're going to look for our specific molecule. There it is. We're going to make a few changes to the settings. So for the balls, we're going to change to mesh by default, and we're going to drop the ball size to be half the value of the distance. Then I'm going to bring the radius of the bonds down, and I'm going to enable the bonds. From here, simply import. I'll hit seven to come into a top view. Here's our molecule. And we're going to do a few things very quickly. We're going to start by just unchecking and then checking the whole collection. That's going to make all of the hidden objects visible. We're then going to come up to the outliner and search for underscore cup. We will delete every instance of the cups because we actually don't need them and they're going to get in the way further down the road. And once that's done, we'll hit X here. We can now change our atom sizes by simply grabbing the atom, bringing it in or out. So I'm going to make my carbon atoms a little bit bigger. Then I'll hit H to hide that. We're going to grab our oxygen, make that a little bigger as well. Again, H to hide, and we'll make the hydrogen just a tiny bit bigger as well. And H to hide. Now, if I were to come in from a side, you can see that these are actually all of the bonds. So this is the one for the oxygen. If I were to hide that, you can see there's another one. Then if I continue to hide these, eventually they'll go away. But what you can do to speed that up is very simply just to hit Z, box select over this, and then H to hide all of them. Coming back into solid view, we're now ready to essentially finish up with our molecule. So I'll come to the outliner, right click and choose select objects, control A and make instances real, shift and J to select any atom, and then control and J to join them all into one molecule. Tap two, we'll rename this. And I'm gonna hit M and move that to the main scene collection. Then I'll right click on my hierarchy and delete everything. So I just have my molecule now. I'm also going to right click and choose set origin to geometry just so that this rotates a little bit more cleanly about sort of a center of mass. We'll come to file, clean up, and just get rid of all of the unused data so that we're not weighing the file down essentially. And now there's a few things we're gonna to do to just clean this up. I'll tab into edit mode and hit A to select everything, then M for merge by distance. I'm going to bring the order of magnitude up by one. So just get rid of one zero there. And now if I'm in one of the more current versions of Blender, tapping back in object mode, I can hit right click and there will be an option for shade auto smooth. That's the one that I want. In older versions of Blender, I'm very simply going to shade smooth, then come down to the object data properties, normals right there and enable auto smooth. Now, if I were to come in, hit Z and come to the rendered view, I can go to the materials tab and I can change whatever I'd like about this. So let's say I want my carbon atoms to be dark and I'd like my oxygen atoms to be a little bit more red and maybe a little shiny. 
If there's one other thing that's kind of worth mentioning now, it's that if I were to come to the overlays and choose face orientation, you can see there's a blue and red mix, meaning that the normals aren't facing the same way. That can mess up some materials, so I'm going to correct that by simply tabbing into Edit Mode, hitting Control shift n with everything selected, and then unchecking this box. And now if I tab back, you can see everything's blue, so this should be working perfectly. We'll remove that overlay right there, and this is our finished molecule. So in a fraction of the time compared to the original tutorial, you can get any molecule for free from Moldview essentially drawing it out, searching for the molecule. You can convert it with OpenBabel, you can bring it in, and now you have the complete molecule cleaned up, ready to go. That just about wraps it up. So as usual, many thanks to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you for coming out. And if you enjoyed this or found it useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues. And until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.